Hey y'all, I'm Insetic, and welcome to the re-LP, the replay of Toxic Grind. With me on this is Matt Rocks 101 Hey, I'm Matt. Toro. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. And Zindictive. Sup, lads? Yeah, Toxic Grind is a 2002 video game released only for original Xbox, a BMX game. Uh, created by Blue Shift Studios, and I guess the reason I'm replaying this, because ten years ago, basically almost to the days, God. are when I did my original LP. And Damn. just now, I just have more context. You know, I've played a ton more games, including Blue Shift Studios' previous game, TJ Laugh and Ultimate BMX, and that really kind of taught me some more stuff. So let's get into it. I've been coming here a long time. Most days, just a ride. But that day was different. It would take a lot of skill to carry that trophy home from the BMAX games. But first, it was time for a little practice. Yeah! I did not know this was uh, made by the TJ Lavin guys. Yeah, same engine. Yeah. Same kind of same uh, engine. effects. So again, that's going to make some things make so much more sense. Like how, you know, doing well gets you amplified and you get electrocuted as you die, part yeah. of that yeah. and <laughs> yeah. that the overall multiplier but also you know we can really revisit this game and kind of look at uh everything in it through you know xbox emulation being high quality now rather than you know me off a crummy laptop and a capture card and yeah. Blah blah blah. Oh, it's it's not else's really. Xbox. I wouldn't say reverence in the same way that like I I wanted to do re replay Johnny Mosley with. Yeah. You know, with that game, it was some more reverence and really discovering new stuff. But again, I always did feel like I sort of just raced through Toxic Grind, and again, knowing Blue Shift Studios, knowing how TJ Lavin ended up, there was always some shit that was hidden in those levels. And yeah. I felt like I was missing some stuff here, and that was the case. I usually found one or two extra things in an area when revisiting the game. And so in this, I want to you know, spend a little bit more time in each level. Not necessarily do everything. Mm -hmm. That's Indictive's job. Yeah. But, um, Wink. at least, like, get all the bike coins. Get bike and rider coins and, you know, really buff my stats up as well, rather than just kind of so go through it. So I gotta. So for anyone who hasn't ever played the game before, can you give like the basic, like, uh, or never seen the old Let's Play or anything? What's the basic like gimmick that separates this game from the other? Games? We're about to find out. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, this game has a plot, and <laughs> this game is basically the Running Man version of extreme sports games. Mm. Um, I was yeah, gonna say, yeah, I'll be real with you, I don't remember your last Let's Play very well. How does that multiplier work? Like, how do combos work? Right, so first off, uh, this game is jank. It is kind of near the bottom of the barrel. I am finessing it to make it really work good. A lot of times, especially in grinding, you'll just start, like, losing your balance, and then, like, literally anything can happen. I see. So, it's, it's again, something just like just like Johnny Mosley again, where if you pick it up, uh, you are not going to be busting you what? Know, such sick tricks what? as like Oh, I am. wow. Oh, what the fuck? But what? again, this time actually looking around the level and actually kind of doing some things here. Yeah, there's some guy um, just throwing There's a lot of environment stuff going on. He's trying to hit you with his balls. There are standard combos. You know, you have air tricks, grinds, manuals to keep you know, to keep everything going in there. But also, as you see, just plain overall, as I'm doing unique tricks, I am building up an overall multiplier yeah, I see that, that is now at like 5.7 times. And uh, that comes into play, you know, for every trick I do. Now, if I start doing repeat tricks, that multiplier will degradate again. And so eventually when you're free playing and you've just run through all your tricks, <laughs> You know, after 30 minutes of being in the level, you'll just be back at like a one times multiplier, and that's it. That's but weird. that does mean that, yeah, your 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 tricks, your uh, scores, effectively kind of snowball if you really care about that. Thing. Is that your timer at the top right? 
how much time yes, we have left. Yes, that's my timer yeah. at the top okay. right. Is the game? Too, I feel like Tutorial if that cutscene was truly the only thing we had to see, it didn't really explain very I well. I mean, we have like is. we have 20 minutes before we get sent back by our mom, so yeah, before it's time for dinner. And Pretty it much. did it did show that in a ticker, which will become more important as the uh, as oh, the game I goes see. on. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, this is the tutorial level Mad Dog Scrapyard, where basically every goal is to do a certain thing, like do a grind, do a manual, do a wall ride. Yeah, and another thing to mention is that apparently the game not only has a lot of transfers, but also a lot of collectibles that were very much missed greatly in the original Let's Play I saw. Because they were like, what, in like one level, like what, fucking 30 collectibles, and they grabbed like five? Yeah, by they he means me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking but I'm, about you, uh, third person. Pretty much. Again, knowing the studio this time, and remembering their previous game, TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX, there's always going to be shit hidden. So, like, I had kind of had an idea that there was something behind this fence for the longest time, and yeah, it turns out like grinding the fence or such opens it up, and you can get back here. There's an extra bike coin collectible and an uh, extra transfer with another fence, and now I'm stuck. A really shitty half No, I'm what not, I'm not actually stuck, but the physics in the half-pipes, oh quarter-pipes are very weird. Dude, this oh half-pipe's giving me motion sickness with the way the camera's moving Very around. good game. Like, imagine Tony Hawk. Imagine, you know, just going back and forth and building up more air and speed, and then... Like, that's always so much harder than you think this, it should this be. This looks like a shitty grind. version of Skate. Uh, fucking uh, half -pipes. Yeah, it seems as if they didn't properly... Well, I guess relatively. They didn't do as good of a job as having logic in place for when you are in a half-pipe. Mm. Like, the physics look like they're a bit too similar to just, like, riding around normally, and it doesn't know how to handle, like going upwards very well. Yeah, pretty much. Also, this camera is so close. Oh to my god, I can see another area right now. Oh no, we have rooftops. I'm I'm wow. fascinated by this level design, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's got a lot going on. Sometimes levels, like rails, are just programmed to give you a ton more speed. Yeah. I you love think that that like, would dump you out somewhere logical, but it's just another half pipe up here. But again, it it is like a more guided tour. I guess that's what I'll position this re-LP as. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I mean, we're getting a lot of time, too, to do all of this. <laughs> when we actually get into the rest of the levels, we don't get nearly this much time, really. Oh. Oh. Right, oh. there is a gimmick. Well, this game has a lot of gimmicks that'll show up, but yeah. there is a gimmick that significantly makes... Uh, harder to stay in the level for long periods of time as you go along. But also, as we do the final challenge, the level like just ends. It doesn't so even that's tell you what well. challenges you did? You just have to look? Yeah. And there are always so many more bonuses and transfers in these levels than you'd think there'd be. Hmm. I have... I can maybe think of where one or two other transfers would be, but like Zindictive, if you ever play this, good luck. I'm I'm hmm. gonna be spending probably months on this game. <laughs> did uh did what's his name do an LP of, or uh, a, Benedict? No, I'm the yeah. only one. I don't one think to have anyone's this done game. any other Let's Plays anyway, this game Anyway, we're skipping at all. the stats and we're jumping forward. Oh, I see. BMX action with America's most extreme reality game show, Toxic Croker! Yes, Mr. Von Blas. These pathetic riders are becoming tiresome. We had to cut to a rerun. A rerun! Perhaps it BMX was made legal again. You know as well as I do, you tin can. Those sports were outlawed for a reason. 
<laughs> and of course I now benefit from it. But ratings are down. We need fresh blood. Riders who will at least make it to first commercial break. Where do we stand with the underground? The underground is shrinking, sir. Most have been terminated on the show, and those remaining have become very adept at evading our raids. We are having difficulty finding contestants. So I've seen. Perhaps it's time for more extreme measures. Sir. I hear Penobscot of the BSI network is continuing R&D on his time-shifting tech, despite losing his permits. Sir, that technology is very unstable. Most test subjects are liquefied into bio-sludge. So they've had to mop up some worthless convicts. Who cares? If it works, I want it. Yes, Mr. Von Bless. If we turn a few unfortunates into goo, so be it. I have to follow that? Let's go, Jason Hayes! Okay. So there is a lot to take in there. But there was. Yeah. <laughs> there is more. Like I said, this game has a plot. Uh, there is more going on behind the scenes. We'll probably discuss it more next video as insane. these two paths intersect. Yeah, I, I need to point out that the present year is 2002, not because this is a period piece, but because that's literally when the game came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 20 years past that. But uh, This game is older than I, I am. I think it kind of is a period piece in a way, though. Well, okay. But then the second level is basically like one competition to see if you know your skills. It's... On the, both pretty easy and pretty hard, <laughs> just because of the game's jank. The but bike also physics. pretty short. This is pure thirty, and all you're supposed to do is get like twenty five thousand points. Dude, yeah. the bike physics just remind me of like an even jankier Dave Nero for some reason. Oh my god, like the way he levitates onto grinds just reminds me so much of Dave Nero. Oh, it's so good. It yeah, really this is one of those Dave games Mira. where. Uh, y you know, back in Johnny Mosley, we were like, what team had a good, you know, experience versus what team had a bad experience? Yeah. And probably the, like, physics coders were still the team that had the bad experience, but here I say the animation team had the good experience, because there's so many ridiculous, like, uh... Air tricks and grinds. Yeah, I remember you know, there being doing some bike pretty, flips and pretty such. Yeah. Nutty tricks in Definitely, game. the mm. physics team had the worst experience, judging from the way this game seems to work. I got a comment on my original part one of Toxic Grind from someone that said, "I helped ship it. I helped ship Toxic Grind in a firefighting capacity. When I started, it was running at like 15 hertz." The player shadows were busted, the oh, vertex pixel this. shaders were a mess, it was clear the team was left alone for many months without proper supervision. <laughs> anyway, after months of crunching, we got it out the door. THQ was not happy and fired all of Blue Shift. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, oh, my god. oh my god! Apparently god, THQ was this so one. angry, so they are like, fuck this team. Would you that, put you, this that, video up? You know what, I'll say, that does explain a lot, though. When you put this video up, can you put that comment on screen? Like sorry, I'm sorry to make that shit. request like mid video, but yeah. I have not you seen this. Genuinely, it's so weird. You genuinely don't have enough time to really ride around this pure 30 yeah, level. Yeah, you and really explore don't. There's so, look how many collectibles and transfers there are, and you have See, so See, there's always time. so many more. There were 24 transfers. Holy shit. I can think <laughs> of maybe three or no, four like, that two, I didn't that's do. That's it. In the video. You have like yeah, 30 it. seconds? Well, well okay. You can, you know, play this level in in free ride. And no, no, blah, no. But blah, I mean, blah. like for for like in Tony Hawk, there's like a three tier, you know, like no, three heat session, and this it's just one. You got yeah. you got two minutes to get twenty five thousand points. Have fun. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. It's great. Proof that you can put everything together. You know, which again, due to the overall kind of combo system and multiplier, means like. Just do some tricks at like 1x, build it up to, you know, 4 or 5x, and then suddenly you'll be doing thousands of points. Show me your moves. Yeah, this but, game uh, is yeah, insanity. Back in the past, Jason Hayes proved his worth at that event. Meanwhile, in the future, someone is looking into the past to try to find writers for their deadly game show. What's going to happen next time?
John Joy John would never. No, really. What is going on to taxi happen? Toxic grind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. What is going to happen no, next seriously, time? Seriously, what is Join going to happen? What will happen? On Toxic Grind, as next time the plot really kicks in. <laughs>